another handbag video and this time I'm going to put the bags away. I just finished filming the MS handbag collection. <laughs> Why was there a pause? MS handbag collection 2018 video and I thought I might as well show you how I store my bags. I have here two shelves and I store everything in these two shelves. The other two, the top one is for the hubby to store his sweaters and then the bottom uh, is the hubby stuff as well. I'm gonna show you his new toy. I have all my dust bags folded here and I'm going to put the bags back into their dust bags one by one. Besides bags I also put these things on the shelves and these are maxi twillies I have four maxi twillies and I think I can actually combine them but then for now I have enough space to store all four I'm just going to put them at the back of this shelf and in this box I keep all my clochette locks and keys so I don't usually hang them on the backs and uh, I want a good place to store everything so I put them in this box so this is going to be for later and then inside this box I have two belts and twillies these two square boxes are for scarves and I combine all my scarves like for in this one I have one two so these are 90 cm silk scarves I have one two three four scarves in this one and let me see fewer in this one two three three in the other so I'm just going to stand them right here and oh this is an empty oh I know I have been using these two scarves so I use these boxes, there are two here, to keep my 140cm cashmere scarves. And then this way. Like this. And here's the other one. I basically just follow the crease. Each box should only fit one, but then because I don't have enough space, I stuff two in one. So I'm going to put this here. Oh, and then here's another one with two other, with two other 140 cm scarves. And then uh, let's continue with scarves. I have here another scarf box. Uh, which I keep the Kelly gloves and there's a gray Fendi scarf here and I have a plain MS black cashmere scarf that I really like that I have been wearing these two days and put it back into the box Here it is, and for this one, I'm just gonna keep it here. And then later, I'm gonna sit two bags on top of this box to push this lid down. It's just gonna stay like this for now, but not for long. And uh, here is my my Bian wallet. My Bian wallet. I'm going to take this to cleaning service. So keep it in the box. This is not the original box. It's just a random box that I use to store it. And then these two boxes originally were used to hold. Um, the pedic back charm so the uh, this one I have it in the original box and then the other one let me see oh uh, the other one I keep this charm and I'm gonna stack them up like this and I'm gonna put another bag right here later three more drawstring bags uh, a few charms all right so let's put these here for now but uh, I'm gonna move them later so the first bag that I'm gonna put away is the garden party 36 not gonna talk about each bag because you can refer to my handbag collection video and 
very big bag. But then I usually put another bag inside this bag, which is this small garden party. I put a little tag and I put, uh, for example, here, garden party green, and then here, garden party black. And, and I use the, the ribbon that they give us when they wrap our boxes. The main purpose of this is to help me put the bags back into the right dust bags. Like, I don't need to refer to the text to know um, which bag is in which dust bag because I can feel it. The hardest part is sometimes I don't always put the bags away immediately. So in the end, I'll have like three or four dust bags laying around. Sometimes I will mix up the dust bags and if I, it's okay if I put a smaller bag into a bigger dust bag, but then if it's the other way around, uh, if I end up having only a very small dust bag, but a big bag, then I'll have to figure out like what went wrong. So the easiest thing for me to get the best match for now, uh, my solution is to put tags on. Okay, here it is. This is the dust bag for my garden party. And inside the garden party, I have bubbles. Okay, so here's one. And then I will put this into my big garden party GM. This bag with the handle is pretty tall, so I always keep it on the bottom shelf, which is actually taller than the top one. And then I would um, tuck the this part in so that it looks neater, like that. Oh, usually I hide the string to, to the back. The next bag is the Lindy. This is a short bag, so I'm gonna put it up here. Let's put it right here for now. I may move it. The Kelly, and I usually take the strap out. And I have a dust bag for the strap. There's no stuffing, so I'm going to stuff it. here because it is a short bag. The next bag is the toolbox. I stuff it with bubbles. I don't think I have the dust bag for the strap for this bag, so I'm just going to put it in like this. I don't like to store it this way because if I if I have another bag that is pushing against the side of the bag, it's going to leave some marks here, so I always want to keep it like this with the handles pointing up. This is the dust bag for the Victoria. The Birkin 30, the black Birkin 30. Slouchy. Okay. Another brick is going to sit here. This 
So here's the dust bag for the Birkin 30. I think I've mixed up this bag with the toolbox bag. Maybe I should switch it back now because it should cover the handles and this looks more like the right dust bag for my toolbox. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so now it's going to cover uh, the handles. And then this one. Yep, correct. Okay, one more here. Next Birkin, this is the blue one with gold hardware. Sometimes when I'm in a hurry, I don't put this flap back. But for now, like this time I will, just to show you how I prefer to do it. This is what happens if I put too much stuffing. This is the dust bag that came with this bag so you can see how old this Birkin is. This is like the oldest type of dust bags and then the orange ones and then the beige ones. Here are the two Kelly cuts and I've stuffed them with tissue paper, not bubbles because like they won't fit. So tissue paper for these two. And for the Kelly cuts, I just fold them like this. The black one, like so. And then, to save space, I'm going to put each one in the Vespa, in each Vespa. So for the Vespa, I just put the strap inside the bag. And then, I put the, this should be the black one. So the black Kelly cut inside this bag, like this. Put the strap inside. Kelly cut in. This is an older bag, so it has an older dust bag. So these two bags can stand at the back of this shelf. So actually, I will take the two Virgins out and then I'll place it at the back and just stand it up right here behind the Birkins. They will fit perfectly, and then put the Birkins back, like so. So I have the Picotan lock here. And I'm gonna put it right here, there's a little square here that can fit nothing but my Picotan Lock 18. So I'm just gonna put it up here. Okay, perfect. Let's get the tiny bullet into a dust bag first. So for this tiny bullet, I'm going to take the strap out. This one, this tiny baleen, I also stuffed it with tissue paper. So I'm just gonna put it on the side. And then here, I don't remember where I keep this, so I'll, this will be the last thing I put um, on the shelf, Birkin 25 with the bubbles. And 
and I've also stuffed it with bubbles. I'm gonna keep the strap and the crochet inside. This is the dust bag for the Kelly 25. It's the same size as the dust bag for the Birkin 25. And then this and then these ones, these are the charms up here. Tiny Belite. Need to tie this back. Mm. Right here, behind the two blocks. Ta-da! So I'm just going to walk away to show you the whole picture. Yeah. So I managed to store 16 bags here on these two shelves. One on the top with all my scarves and all my back charms. So I don't have room for another bag. That's the conclusion. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram at WinnieYYoutube. I'm gonna see you again in my next video. Take care and bye-bye.